It's Shira Lazar with What's Trending, and we dove into all the trending news this week so you don't have to scroll to stay up to date. Are Katy Perry's fans turning on her? From numerous waves of backlash to competing against stars like Charlie XCX and Sabrina Carpenter, fans are wondering if Perry's legacy may be best left in the 2010s. No one can deny star singer Katy Perry's influence on pop music throughout the early and mid 2000s. From hits like I Kissed a Girl to Last Friday Night and Dark Horse, Perry's had numerous hits dominate radio stations. After taking a brief hiatus from making music, the star announced that she had something new in the works back in May after sharing that she did not attend the Met Gala with a video of herself recording, writing in the caption, couldn't make it to the Met, had to work. But the controversy surrounding her single Woman's World has sparked criticism, particularly due to its perceived pandering and the ongoing association with producer Dr. Luke, whose reputation has been marred by legal battles and allegations of abuse. Along with this, some fans are arguing Perry seems unable to keep pace with the dynamic, genre-blending creativity of newer artists like Charlie XCX, Chapel Roan, and Sabrina Carpenter, who are captivating Gen Z with their fresh approaches to pop music. While some fans remain strongly supportive of the star, others shared their opinions online about whether or not she will ever make a full comeback. In a recent clip shared from Tyler, the creator's interview with Make Spring Hill, the star revealed he has some strong feelings about fellow rappers. Tyler, the creator, is an American rapper, record producer, and fashion designer who first gained prominence as the leader of alt-hip-hop collective Odd Future. His fame and popularity was solidified after he released albums Flower Boy in 2017 and Igor in 2019. Tyler, the creator, quickly became known for his boundary-pushing lyrics, eccentric persona, and genre-blending productions. Throughout his career, Tyler has been involved in several high-profile feuds with other rappers, including ASAP Rocky, Iggy Azalea, and DJ Khaled. His beefs often stem from his outspoken nature and willingness to critique others in the industry, sometimes leading to public clashes that further fuel his notoriety. And he is not done yet. In a recent clip from an upcoming interview with Make Spring Hill, Tyler the Creator slams some of his fellow rappers, sharing, There are so many guys out right now who aren't musicians that are getting treated like musicians because they make meme records. They will publicly be like, I don't give up about music. I just do this for money. The rapper went on to emphasize that he's only frustrated because he cares so much about the art form and did humorously add, quote, someone's probably gonna watch this and cut this off and this whole conversation is gonna lose context. So make sure you check out Make Spring Hill on YouTube where the full interview with Tyler, the creator drops on August 14th. The Olympic Games have long been a stage for incredible athletic feats, but in today's digital age, the journey doesn't end at the podium. Here's a look at some of the athletes who used their platform at the 2024 Paris Olympics to become influencers. Many Olympians are transforming their athletic fame into influential online presences, becoming powerful voices in social media, fashion, fitness, and beyond. Up first, we have American rugby star and bronze medalist Ilona Marr, who you may have seen on your feed in this insanely viral video enjoying a massive croissant. Carl, what's up? Just here, two of them. Mm. Oh, great. Something got me going. Mar began amassing a huge following after sharing comedic videos showcasing her enjoying everything the Paris Olympics had to offer, specifically the good eats. Since going viral, she's even collaborated with other huge creators like YouTube and TikTok star Brittany Broski. Up next, we have Olympic gymnast and gold medalist Sunisa or Suni Lee, who competed alongside teammate Simone Biles during the Paris Olympics. Lee has an insane story as the 2024 Paris event marked her second trip to the Olympics, but she almost couldn't come back. Lee has been battling kidney disease for the past few years, a journey which she documented and shared online with her 3.4 million TikTok followers. Fans were obviously elated to see her make her triumphant return and secure the gold for Team USA. As the lines between sports and social media continue to blur, these athletes are leading the way, showing us all that greatness isn't confined to the field or the gym. Comedian Jake Weddle just spoke out about why he walked away from working with Mr. Beast, as weeks of controversy continue to follow YouTube's most popular creator. I didn't do this for money. I didn't do this for fame. And I want to tell people what Jimmy's really like. 
Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, is arguably the most well-known creator out there. As of the making of this video, his YouTube channel holds 309 million subscribers. However, the past few weeks, Donaldson has been involved in multiple controversies, and it just got worse. It started with Donaldson firing his longtime friend and collaborator, Ava Tyson, after allegations of inappropriate conversations with a minor resurfaced. Mr. Beast took to X to share he hired an independent third party to investigate the allegations, and went on to write, That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. Shortly after this, fellow YouTuber Rosanna Pancino, who has spoken out against Mr. Beast in the past, began sharing testimonials from alleged contestants on Mr. Beast's upcoming reality show, Beast Games. Multiple stories Pansino shared, alleged contestants were not given enough food or water, were not provided feminine hygiene products, and challenges resulted in multiple injuries. What is going on here is beyond disgusting and extremely dangerous. So I'm going to read to you her message. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. People were having seizures because they were not getting medication. Men started realizing that they could take out the women without being eliminated. Guys started tackling and hitting women. The lack of water, food, and medical attention was embarrassing and sad. Women and elders injured. I witnessed two seizures, a sprained ankle. Staff and medical did nothing to help her, leaving her for hours crying. To hear more allegations made against Beast Games, you can find Rosanna Pansino on TikTok and YouTube, where she explains the claims in greater detail. Then, on August 1st, racist and homophobic comments Mr. Beast made during a 2017 live stream resurfaced. In the stream, a viewer shared a comment about selling a black person for $400, to which Donaldson replied, Uh, the most I'd pay is like $300, sorry. $400 is just out of my price range for that type of stuff. As the YouTuber started facing backlash online, Mr. Beast's team released this statement. When Jimmy was a teenager, he acted like many kids and used inappropriate language while trying to be funny. Over the years, he has repeatedly apologized and has learned that increasing influence comes with increased responsibility, to be more aware and more sensitive to the power of language. Most recently, and arguably the most serious allegations brought against the YouTuber so far, involves a former collaborator of Mr. Beast, comedian Jake Weddle. Weddle was interviewed by YouTuber Dogpack404 and appears in a two-part documentary titled I worked for Mr. Beast. Weddle appeared in a few of Mr. Beast's videos and worked with the creator from 2019 to around 2021. In the video from Dogpack, Weddle claims he participated in a scrapped Mr. Beast solitary confinement video, in which he was in a white room with lights and cameras on him 24-7, with the aftermath leaving him both psychologically and physically hurt. After 30 days, you're gonna get $300,000, because it's $10,000 a day. And I don't know, man. I grew up poor in North Carolina. I said, burr, 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 excuse me, you, I'll, I'll dance for you if you put that kind of money in my face, sure. I had a lot of good people looking out for me saying, this, this, we gotta stop. I go, I go, they're not turning the lights off. He goes, what? That's a war crime. We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh good. <laughs> 24 hours breaking the Geneva Convention, I guess, is what we're doing. Uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera, how thankful you are that now you can pay back your student loans. You know how hard it was to do a take of that? To pretend to make it genuine? Weddle then explained a challenge in the video where Mr. Beast asked him to run a marathon on a treadmill in the room and felt like he couldn't say no because he didn't want to ruin the video or waste the company's time and money. Yeah, I'm, I'm running until 3 a.m. I got off the treadmill. Ah, oh, the blisters I had on my feet were like, you wouldn't believe, just all over, just these big red... I couldn't, I couldn't walk, my, my, my muscles were like, just... Like the lactic acid, I, I... And that's when I was like, I'm done, I can't, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. And they didn't let me leave right away either, they wanted to make sure, you know, everything was fine. So I just, you know, slept for a while. They turned the lights off. <laughs> 
Whittle also makes numerous claims about the overall treatment of employees and allegedly being paid hush money. As of the making of this video, Mr. Beast has not responded to any of Weddle's claims. If you're interested in hearing Weddle's full story, you can find him on YouTube and TikTok and watch his full interview on Dogpack 404's channel. Sky Jackson threw the internet for a loop on Tuesday morning after news broke that she was arrested for domestic battery against her boyfriend, possibly fiance. Sky Jackson is an American actress, author, and social media personality who's gained widespread recognition for her role as Zuri Ross in the Disney Channel series Jesse. Beyond acting, Jackson has made a name for herself as an author with her 2019 book Reach for the Sky, How to Inspire, Empower, and Clap Back, where she discusses her experiences growing up in the entertainment industry industry and offers advice to her young fans. She's also known for her strong social media presence where she advocates for anti-bullying and speaks out on social justice issues. On the morning of Tuesday, August 13th, news broke that Jackson was involved in an altercation with her boyfriend at Universal City Walk in Hollywood. Jackson and her boyfriend allegedly told police who were called to the scene they were engaged and expecting, but the Disney alum was still taken into custody for domestic violence. Fans took to X to share their shock at the news as Sky Jackson became a top trending topic on the social media platform. Jackson herself still has not addressed her arrest nor her alleged pregnancy and engagement, leaving fans all the more confused. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week with more juicy celeb gossip and trending news. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think.